Hey YouTube, in this video I'm going to be talking about how to calm your nerves at the start line. So, obviously, at this point, you're in a race. Well, you're about to go into a race. You've seen your competition, you might have even spoken to them. You might have been hearing a couple conversations about PBs, personal best, times that you don't have, times that are faster than what you have, and it's worthwhile remembering that the fast people tend to be the ones that aren't saying anything or are saying slow times and the slow people tend to be the ones that are speaking a lot or are saying fast times because everyone on the everyone that's going to be racing they're of different mindsets because they've been through different things the slow people who are talking they're either going to be extremely happy or extremely sad purely because they've their, their times which they think well they might not think it's fast but their times they these are times they think they can get not times that they actually have for example if you was to speak to me um i would probably be forced under the purely of my time be forced under the category of one of the slow people who's saying a fast time purely because my personal best for the hundred is slow but the time that i think i could get would be fast but the only difference in this case would be i am i'm actually quite capable of getting these times compared to me just saying these times out of my ass purely because i've actually put in the work and i've seen myself progress to be able to potentially hit these times whilst other slow people but i would be personally in if i was actually in that situation humble purely because i don't know the rest of the field someone might be faster than me and i might not get those times but other slow people because they've been putting a lot of work because that tends to be the reason why they're slow they put in a lot of work but the work they're putting in tends to be in the wrong direction and there's no they might not have time trial themselves or they time trial themselves inaccurately so they believe that these times that they're saying they're actually able to replicate but for various reasons such as that they're going to say fast times and be very happy because these are times faster than their pbs so for them this is like i just need to run and i get a pb they get the adrenaline rush regardless of if they win or lose Whilst the, the fast people, they're obviously much closer to the genetic limits than the slow people are. Maybe not by much, but they're much closer or they're much closer to specifically to blockages where they've peaked and they have to get over this block where they just don't improve. They're quite close to that or they think they've already reached it. So what they're going to do, or they may just come back from an injury. So what they're going to do is they're going to tell you that they're all right speed they might be fast but i'm not as fast as i used to be or whatever lie they say whether it's a lie or not it's still to be determined but they're gonna underestimate themselves purely because unlike the slow people these are people who are most likely going up against people that are like second at least faster than they are or maybe 0.5 seconds so to them those are release so this race that they're in is just like depending on the race it might be one of those situations like, okay, I know there's people faster than me in this race, so I've already given up first place. Let's just relax and just see how the race goes. Or it might be, okay, um, I should be the fastest or one of the fastest in the field, but I just don't know how fast everyone else is. So I need to find out. But regardless, the point is, everyone in the field who's going to be racing against you is confused. They don't know what's going to happen. They're all hoping for the best. So you just need to relax and stay calm. Remember what you've done. Don't think about what they've done. Don't think about where they've come from. Don't think about how fast or slow they are. Just think about what you've done and focus on having the most perfect race you can have. So when you eventually do get to the line, you can just sit down. Well, not sit down, but get into the blocks. Load up your muscles and push off perfectly. Because it's worth remembering, all of this talk that they're saying is only going to get in your head. And this can distract you before the gun goes off. You don't want that. What you want is for you to just go to the blocks. Don't care whether you win or lose. And just hit a gun and explode off. Because that's the easiest way for you to get into the flow state. And if you really want to perform at your best, you need to enter your flow state. So you need to not care about what everyone else is saying and only care about you. That's it. That's the only focus. If you really, if you really want to relax your nerves, only focus on you. Now that is out of the way. Now that we've got that done, now let's actually look at some other methods we can do to relax our nerves on the line. So like I said before, it's worth looking, remembering about how much work you put in. Just remember, like, think about your PBs in the gym. Think about improvements in your form. 
think about how well you've how your plyometrics have progressed maybe you could only broad jump a meter now you could broad jump two for example or something like that because plyometrics specifically plyometrics you are actually basically able to see a direct correlation directly pushed into your sprinting. So seeing improvements in plyometrics should be giving you a boost saying, yeah, I can do this. I'm going to perform good. Because whilst everyone else is saying what they're saying, it doesn't matter. You only care about you. You just want to be your personal best, which is why the slow people generally tend to be having a fun time on the line. Purely because as long as the times that they go on the time trial, the time trials they've done is fairly accurate, they're going to get a PB regardless. So you just want to focus on you, remember what you've done and just be like, okay, done the work now i can actually go on the line sprint my 100 200 or 400 or whatever the race and perform well maybe it was a 60 as well and perform do well and get a new pb um maybe even get on the leaderboards for whatever country you were in other than that it's just meditation just stay relaxed meditate before you um whilst you're before you whilst you hear these conversations meditate before you hear these conversations meditate whilst you're walking to the line meditate whilst you're at the line do some breathing you know breathe in what I like to do myself is I'll get into the blocks and I look down and then I breathe in and I breathe out and I breathe in again and then I'll if I hear set I'll go up and breathe out if I don't hear set I'll breathe out again and if I hear set I'll breathe in quickly that's the that for me it's just quickly breathe in and hear set and rise and just remember maintain form and then when I hear the the bang the gun go off I just breathe out violently and then just go and as long as you do that what's going to end up happening is your mind's probably most likely just going to empty because you've been relaxed from before and now you're at the line you're relaxed this is the it with no one speaking it's pure silence it's the easiest point to relax at is at the line because you'll be trying to think a bunch of things but don't let that happen just breathe in breathe out go if you like my video, like the video, let me know in the comment section below. Um, check the description because anything I forget to say in the video, I always put in the description. And if you like my content, subscribe. Helps the channel out a lot. Um, I post every two days at 1pm Greenwich Mean Time. If you don't know when that is, just hit the bell and then you'll be notified instantly.